Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. This is test night. And the tent that is coming up for testing is the MSR Zoic Two Person. This series involves taking tents out into the wild to put them through a series of tests in regards to moisture. How much rain can they take before they leak? How do they handle condensation, moisture control, and ventilation? With this test, the Zoic Two is going to see at least one inch of rain, possibly some strong winds, and maybe even some snow. To be honest, I'm very interested to see how well this tent performs because MSR does things differently with their tents in regards to making them waterproof. They do not seam seal their tents like most companies do. They have a proprietary manufacturing process, the way that they put their tents together that prevents them from leaking, or so the company says. Because there is a chance of it being windy, I went ahead and I staked out this tent. In fact, it's getting a little bit breezy right now. And dark clouds are moving in. The overall setup process for this tent is easy. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not bad. With the proprietary way that MSR goes about waterproofing their tents, it's a combination of materials and manufacturing process. And if you want more information, you can look it up. It is interesting. And I've heard both good and bad things about it. As you all can see, the Zoic 2 is set up. It is ready to rock and roll. And now, all we have to do is await some rain. More than just a waterproof test, this is also dealing with ventilation, condensation, and moisture control. And those factors are equally as important as to the waterproof ability of any tent. I mean, a trash bag is 100% waterproof, but would you want to sleep in one? No, not unless you had to, right? Just in case you don't know, just because a product is 100% waterproof doesn't mean that it's breathable. And for a tent to be a good shelter, it has to release moisture and also keep the rain out. All right, everyone, the first rain event just took place. It rained for roughly 20 minutes. It was fairly light. And since it stopped here for the time being, I figured I would take a look at the tent just to make sure that it's not leaking. As it stands right now, no leaking at all. It's a good start. All right, everyone, I have an update for you all. I've been inside of this tent for roughly an hour and a half. The rain, for the most part today, has been pretty mild. This afternoon, it got to a moderate stage and it stayed there. And there are issues with the MSR Zoic 2. In fact, there are substantial issues present. As you all can hear, it's raining pretty good right now and there are countless leaks with this tent. Let's see, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, I mean 20, 30, I don't know. This tent is leaking everywhere. The fly, it looks like all the way around this thing is just leaking. Water is seeping through the seams. Apparently this proprietary method of waterproofing, which I've heard good and bad about, with my experiences, not so good, unfortunately. I mean, there's no other way to say it than this. This tent is not waterproof. I mean, there's water pouring down the mesh right here, right now. You can see it. I mean, right here. Water is dripping from the ceiling. There's water over there in the corner. There's water droplets all over the floor. Look at that. That's insane, folks. I am very disappointed in this tent. This is not acceptable, especially for this price. The price of this tent, let me go ahead and look this up. The retail price of this tent is $350, and this level of performance is completely unacceptable. I can tell you after being in here for a while that ventilation is good, but ventilation is only one aspect to a good tent. The tent has to be waterproof. The rain that's fallen so far, while a good amount has fallen, is nothing exceptional by any means. We've had very inexpensive tents perform much better and also much worse conditions than this. So, I mean, the amount of water that's just everywhere, there's just water absolutely everywhere inside of this tent. It's unacceptable, without a doubt. MSR states that this is the long-lasting Extreme Shield waterproof coating that has been applied and made with this tent. I, I mean, you all could see it here. It's not waterproof. It's not waterproof. At least with the tent that I have. Very, very disappointing. This is one reason why test night episodes and honest reviews are so important. So many channels do those mailbox reviews. They get it out of the mailbox and then they film a video and tell you how great it is. Make sure to click on my link, give me some money. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take these products out. I'm going to test them out. Brought this tent out into the forest. I had it fully set up. My sleeping pad was inflated, sleeping bag out. As the rain got heavier, more drops began to make their way through. And um, yeah, here we are now. I ended up packing everything up since there was just water dropping all over the floor. For this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, that's pretty much it, everyone. Make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. Please share your thoughts about MSR. What do you all think about the company as a whole? What do you all think about this test night episode and how this tent has performed? Again, folks, for $350, this is just one rain event. And it was only a moderate rain event. And this tent has leaked like crazy. It's just simply unacceptable, in my opinion, for this amount of money. I will be in contact with MSR to get their feedback on this, but as it stands right now, based on my experiences with this tent, I would not recommend buying an MSR tent. I, I'm not sure if all of their tents feature this, what did I call it, the X-Shield, Extreme Shield, whatever it is, waterproofing manufacturing process. I don't know. Maybe they all do. Maybe it's just some. But obviously, something doesn't work quite right. Overall, the quality of this tent, as far as the materials go, everything looks good. There's no loose threads anywhere. The sewing, the, the seam work looks great. The, the setup process is easy. It does seem to be a very solid and sturdy tent once you have it set up, but as far as being waterproof, it's not. It simply isn't. So that's where we stand with this episode. Very, 
Very rarely have I had to end an episode right in the middle of testing out a tent. This makes only the second time that I've bailed on a test night episode. The other time was with the, um, what was that called? Rock River tent, something like that. No, <laughs> just water dumping everywhere. Uh, River Country. The only other time that I failed was with the River Country tent. And yes, that tent performed much worse than this one, but it only cost like 80 bucks or something. This is, again, 350 and there's water everywhere. There's leaks everywhere. Yeah, and that's that, folks. For now, everyone, I'm done. Make sure to comment down below. I appreciate you all. If you want to support a channel that is 100% agenda free, I do appreciate it. You can do that through Patreon and also here on YouTube. You can become a member if you want to. Also, hitting the thumbs up button does help. So everyone, take care, strength and honor. Bye.